There is something about a festive cake that makes a get-together feel like a real party. Whether you're celebrating big or small, this 4th of July cake will make the day special. It's a statement piece, but I'm told decorating is a snap, and I believe the person who told me that because I trust her with my cake life. Mandy Merriman, <laughs> Baking with Blondie, is here to show us how to make this really sweet, you say simple, I say stunning, 4th of July <laughs> centerpiece. All you need is a cake. Yes, absolutely. I think you hit the nail right on the head. Simple and stunning and easy. I always want to make cake baking approachable for everyone, and so this is no exception. 30 seconds what? after you prep all your buttercream, which takes a little bit of time. Um, <laughs> after that, it's 30 seconds to get that buttercream right on the cake. So. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll give you that allowance. Prep <laughs> okay. your stuff, and then the 30-second decorating challenge begins. Yes. What do we have going on? All right. So first of all, I have a just a little six-inch cake. I did red, white, and blue. Underneath, you can kind of see it peeking Cute. through. This is the crumb coat. So I just added a little layer of buttercream and added some on top because we're going to cover the sides with one piping tip. So this is one of my new favorite piping tips. It is number 127D. Whoa. And look how huge it is. It's it is a big piping enormous. tip, right? It's like the size of that by hand. So what it is is it has a wide end and a skinny end. And what we're going to do is make really cute ripples or ribbons, mm -hmm. as it were, mm -hmm. around the sides of the cake. The main thing is to make sure you have a turntable and just three different tips. That way you don't have to switch out the bag between. You can just keep going. Just smooth yeah. the process. And so what I love about this is it has those really vibrant red and blue colors in there yeah. just for our 4th of July celebrations. And I know that when I say food coloring, some people are like, oh no, like sometimes it tastes a little different. But the trick is if you use really good quality food coloring, like I really like this brand, the AmeriColor one. Uh -huh. And also if you start from not white, you start from pink or purple and change it to red or blue, it's less of a jump in the color wheel. How do you start from so pink the way that I love to do it is I like to use even a strawberry emulsion that's naturally a pink color. Uh -huh. um, and then you add a little bit of red to it and all of a sudden you have a vibrant red. So you put that in the frosting first? Yeah, you can put this in there first because it's already kind of a little red hue without the food coloring. Oh. And you have a little strawberry flavor, which is great. Nice, yeah. And then blueberry emulsion is kind of a light purple color, which is really beautiful. And I just add in a little navy blue to that. So you're but layering the colors. Layering the colors. Vibrant and then hues. the last step is you let it sit. So this buttercream has been sitting since this morning and it's already a really beautiful red and blue. Or red and blue, but if you let it even go until tomorrow, it's going to be even darker. It just takes the color to saturate. Yeah, it like soaks it in like a little sponge, Ooh. and so it changes the color okay. really beautiful and bright. So, all right, I see two cakes. I'm feeling <laughs> brave today. Mandy's crumb coat is better than most of I'm my frosting <laughs> jobs. No, no, no. I always say the crumb coat. No one sees the crumb coat. That's why it's called a naked cake. Show this We're going to cover it over. No, this is good. That's what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Brooke. Okay, so we have our turntables. Yeah. We have our piping bags prepped with our three different colors, uh -huh. and so you can start with red, white, or blue. I'm I'm going to start with red just because I, I think red, white, and blue in my head when I think them yeah. in sequential Let's order. Stay in order. Okay, so what we're going to do is when you squeeze it, you want to make sure to squeeze like this little skin right here. Okay. Put it right there and is give it a little twist. For? It's actually that called, skin. I think, a per glue or something. Okay. Technically, I had a nurse in one of my cake classes. She's like, that's what it's called. Oh, anyway, hilarious. and so what you're going to do is make sure that when you squeeze it around the cake, you do it in one squeeze for one ribbon. Okay. So make sure you have a lot of, is a lot of squeeze in there. Is the small side up or the big side up? You're going to do the big side down, big and side the big down. side is going to go against the side of the cake. So what we're going to do is as you squeeze you're going to turn your turntable just in one swoop I so i call it a first. cake hug like this the cake you give hug. it a little hug Cute. i teach that in my classes a little yes, cake hug a little cake hug so what i'm going to do is start it away from me oh the top yeah and you see how i'm just putting it right against the side of the cake up oh, there boy, Mandy. you're going to do great brooke you're oh, going to do oh, great we're starting here come on yes yeah, so we're starting on the top and see how when i turn i keep squeezing keep squeezing keep squeezing and because i gave my my turntable a cake hug you can yeah. go all the way around you're doing it. You're doing I'm it. Doing Keep it. going, girl. Keep going. My hug's, yes. my hug's running out of That's okay. Room. That's okay. Go ahead and okay. just pull it away gently. Yay! You made it. You made it. Yay! <laughs> I mean. I think it's good. I think it's good. So the best part about this is there's always going to be a back of this cake. Yeah. Because yeah. that's where we cross there it over. There might be a couple backs. Which is okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Cake. I think it looks more like, like rustic, mm -hmm. classic American, like with the whole like You're rippling so effect. So I yeah. think it's perfect. Okay. We'll so let's go that. to our white. I got a little... Hey, it's gonna be just gorgeous. So the reason why is we're gonna cover over this bottom part with the next layer. Are you gonna do blue? I'm gonna, no, you I'm do gonna blue. Do white. Are you gonna do white? Okay, yeah. perfect. I do what you do, Mandy. <laughs> Brooke, I love you. I do okay. what you do. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you see right here, we're gonna start this next one right on the next set. On the seam? Yep, right okay. underneath okay. it. So okay. right where your seam is. And right then there. what you're gonna do is this part, you're gonna angle it kinda out a little bit. Like that? Yeah, or that way the bottom is just touching it like that. Oh no, I like that. Yeah. Okay. And we're All gonna right. go the next swoop. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, that wasn't a big hug. Oh boy. It's okay, just keep your heart going. Oh boy, I feel so, my, is your you heart go. supposed to be pounding when you frost a cake? You're doing great. Maybe on TV, yes. You're doing right? it. I love it, Brooke. Am I doing it? It's doing great. 
Perfect, and then you just meet it where it ends. Awesome. Well, Next. hey. Hey, hey, hey. Well, okay. hey. <laughs> next color, let's go to our blue, blue, and then we'll keep it going. Mm -hmm. So we'll start at the next, and then you keep it going. Look at this gorgeous blue. It's just nice and vibrant, perfect for our celebrations. This is great, and you're yeah. right. The rustic, kind of the ripples, that's part of the effect, yeah. right? And it just covers it over for the next one, and you make your way down the cake. So usually there's about six or seven of these stripes Okay. by the time you get to the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on our red. Is there any way, if my little seam is exposed, what am I gonna do to patch that guy up? Or am I just gonna put that at the back? Okay, I gave you a straight icing spatula. I love these ones, they're super pretty. So what I do is I just give it a little... Little smooth? Yep, just get a little smooth over. There you Annie, go. This is yep. so cute. <laughs> and then you just switch to the next color. Uh -huh. And you just go all the way down. And then what I love about this is when you get to the end, mm -hmm. um, you can totally add on some sprinkles. And I couldn't find any 4th of July sprinkles because everyone's getting really excited about cakes and I love that. I'm all for that. <laughs> Except for you're selling out the person that got us excited about cakes. Come on. <laughs> right? And so, Leave some sprinkles for baking with Bon Blondie. <laughs> Leave some for me. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I went to Michael's and I found cute Megan Sweet Tooth Fairy sprinkles. Uh -huh. I mixed all three of them together. Okay. And then I had some of these silver drawsies and mixed it in. You created your own. I made my own. And then you just cocktail. give it a little sprinkle on top. Now where did we get the fireworks that we saw billowing <laughs> in the studio I actually, breeze? <laughs> right, I know. They were billowing so beautifully. That so was what Jeff I did giving us a little one-two blow. I'll give you one-two. <gasps> and so I got these off of Amazon actually. They oh came gosh. in a pack of gold and silver and black Look. for there we go. Amazing. I Annie, know. You're it's amazing. so fast. So Thank easy. Thank you for being such a good teacher. Thank you so for having me. So generous with your gifts <laughs> and your expertise. How can we get more inspiration from you? Oh, absolutely. So bakingwithblondie.com or you can go on Instagram, bakingwithblondie, and I always have fun tips and little behind the scenes things happening there. And what's the scoop on classes? Okay, so classes are going to start at the end of summer. I had to take a pause because we we're finishing our basement. All yes. my stuff was packed up. Yes. Classes start in the fall. Pre-order for my new cookbook comes out in the fall. And we'll have more on that info later, of course. So fall's going to be big. Fall's going to be big. Yay. Spring of next year is going to be huge. All right, so Mandy. excited. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank we'll you. post a tutorial for you on our website, too, if you want to review and see how fabulous my ribbon <laughs> It's gorgeous. frosting was. Loving it.